As part of troubleshooting your database, the logs are one of the best resources for database administrators. These issues can be related to server configuration, startup, backup performance or even trace flags. When it comes down to investigation, your logs is one of your starting points. A new error log is created each time the instance is started. Although if you wanted to create a new log, you can use the SP Recycle Error Log Store procedure to get this done. So in this case, you won't have to restart your server. Typically, SQL Server retains backups of the previous 6 logs and gives the most recent log backup the extension dot one, the second most recent extension dot two, and so on. The current log has no extension, so basically there will be 7 logs being maintained. To view your server logs, expand management and expand SQL Server logs. There you'll see the 7 logs the current plus the 6 other archive logs. To view any of the logs, you can double click on it and it will open it up in a new window. To switch between log files, you can check the log file that you want to view. You can also select all of them. You can also view the SQL Server Agent log by checking the SQL Server Agent box. And then you'll see the list of events that took place in the SQL Server Agent. You can also do the same for the database mail. You'll see the list of events logged by the SQL Server mail. You can also view the SQL Server Agent log and database mail log. So on the database mail, you would right click and view database mail log. You'll pretty much get the same view like before. However, it sets your selection directly to the database mail log. And for the SQL Server Agent, expand. And for the error logs, select plus to expand as well. And you'll see the list of logs available. To view any of them, just double click and it will take you to the event logs. So if you experience any issue with your server, one of the first places to start digging is within your server logs. And you can identify potential issues and then you research them and try to resolve them. In the next lecture coming up, we'll be taking a look at dynamic management views.